We are in trouble on third and long. I mean, the three-man rush has been an absolute fit to deal with. Swift out of the backfield. Going to have to use a timeout here on fourth and inches. All right, now we definitely have to pick up this first down. I'm going to run inside zone here. Wow. I mean, wow. His guy just came in free. How is this defense working this well? This is insane. JMO, enough juice, please, Jared. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, what a catch from the rookie. We have life, fellas. From the six, we still have a timeout. 29 seconds, a lot of time here. I'm going to run the ball on first down, get the clock rolling. Probably no huddle after that. Maybe run twice here. We go with the Owen Trap. Swift up to the one. He's actually going to use his timeouts, which is pretty smart. This guy's running his 3-3-5 TCU defense all over the field, even at the one-yard line. I'm going to go stretch. And Jamal Williams, the stolen touchdown merchant himself is in the end zone. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to kick my extra point here. I'm not going to get too cute with it. All right, boys. Overtime it is. Now, the only thing I'm curious is, did he play off overtime rules? Hard flat. Oh, my God. Do the playoff overtime rules in the NFL where both teams are guaranteed a possession also correlate to CFM? Now, in Madden Ultimate Team... It's obviously not like CFM. It's not like you're playing a regular season. Both teams do get the football. Is there only one period? Can this game end in a tie if he's chewing clock like this? I think it probably can. So I, I think I got to be a little aggressive here. The problem is we have him lined up and I literally just can't make a tackle. I'm not a fan of this guy chewing clock in the situation either with, with how little time there is here. Okay, turn it off. We have to be a little aggressive right here. Try to get this football back, man. I do not want this to end in a tie. That would be the worst case scenario for me. He's going to run. He's going to run. Someone's got to tackle Damien Harris, man. Come on. He's going to cover three bomb. Jesse Bates knockout, man. That's why we made the trade for him. Look at the plays he's making. He actually goes run here against Dollar and again, dude. We got to tackle, man. This is pathetic. Another run. Thank you. Make a tackle here. I'm going to call a timeout. It's another hard flat. I mean, dude. Wow. Our lack, our inability to tackle is going to be the reason we lose. I, I got hard flat and just Damian Harris. He's, he's too good, man. Cover three. Keep it simple here. He's going to run. Can't tackle again. Oh, it's going to be fourth and inches. I was wrong. Wow. Here it is. Here's the game. Come on, Hughes. Get out of there. Mike Hughes. Come on, Mike. Come on, Mike. Get off me, Mike. Let's go. Come on, man. What a play. We get crazy aggressive with the adjustments. We scissor the running back. That's really his only read there. I'm going left side stretch here. I'm going left side stretch. Jamal Williams, the game is in your hands, young man. And put him to bed. Keep the undefeated record alive. Let's go, baby. All right, so week seven, we're 5-0. We're taking on the 5-1 Cowboys. This guy's got a crazy record. I mean, it makes sense. Guy's got an insanely good team. We're playing in Dallas as well. The good news is, though, we have a breakout game for Deshaun Elliott, who just got a plus one speed upgrade. And it's for Superstar. Hold the Cowboys to less than 150 plus passing yards or get Deshaun Elliott two interceptions, four fumbles, tackle for losses, or sacks. Wow, an opportunity to get a Superstar on defense? Dude, that's actually pretty sick. Now for the Lions series, I'm not gonna be showing every single gameplay the entire game. It's more about building our team. Now obviously when the playoffs hit, we'll change that, but yeah, this game right here with Deshaun Elliott and having to hold the Cowboys to less than 150 passing yards. I had to two clock, run the ball, and Micah Parsons was in my backfield every single play. So a lot of this really fell on Jared Goff's legs, and honestly, he delivered. Bro, look at Micah. Like, what am I supposed to do? What does this guy have? Edge that and double or nothing. I mean, he is mauling Sewell. Snap the ball, dude. I'm getting mauled again. I mean, look at the pocket presence. Jared! Mm. Although I feel like this guy's kind of caged, man. I don't know. I don't know how y'all feel about it. Pick Hutchinson. Go, go, Hutch. Come on, baby. Don't get greedy before half, man. Oh. 
Oh, Jerry, we're closing out, baby. <laughs> we had more rushes than pass completions and attempts with Jared Goff. All right, so we have a message here, breakout player. I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. All right, you don't have to say it that many times, Dean Fuller. That guy's a big time talent. Deshaun Elliott is now a superstar, plus 2000 XP as well. All right, so we are taking on the one and seven Green Bay Packers. However, we did just fill the spot. The guy who originally bought this team decided to drop out of the league. He didn't play most of his games. So we filled the spot. I don't know how good this guy is gonna be. It's gonna be interesting. We have to get 300 yards or three touchdowns with Jared Goff and without throwing abilities, it's not gonna be easy but I wanna upgrade his dev trait. Jared Goff deserves it, baby. Let's go out there. Let's have a great week nine performance. Let's get him his dev game and let's go ahead and move on to 8-0. Now the Packers are probably the best team in this specific franchise. And the reason I say this is because again, we're not allowed to go ahead and edit the throwing style of our quarterback. So Aaron Rodgers and Jordan Love are the only two quarterbacks in the entire game that have the slinger one throwing motion. It's the fastest. It's really good, especially with the band velocity abilities. He actually traded Jordan Love and we'll go ahead we'll go to roster here sort by speed he traded Jordan Love to the Los Angeles Chargers he picked up Dean Leonard in a first round pick in exchange so Dean Leonard the rookie from the Chargers six foot one 93 speed looks like an absolute beast of a user right there Kristen Watson looks insane I mean obviously a rookie 96 speed six foot four 95 speed Stokes and of course if we sort by overall there's tons of abilities here I mean Jair Alexander David Bakhtiari Rashawn Gary Aaron Jones Kenny Clark this team is really really talented we are absolutely outmatched but I believe in my guys man I just do all right boys I'm gonna do my best here man I'm gonna be honest it was a tough day um I'm not gonna get too into it but just a tough day man tough day a win here would feel good i won't lie i don't know what this camera angle is i'm gonna be honest all right we fixed the camera angle oh god he's got the corner out wide open he's out of bounds bo melton feet out of bounds there we go i'm gonna give it my best shot though fellas i really am trying to trying to bring the energy for you guys regardless because i know y'all enjoy these videos man i know it's a release for some of y'all so i'm giving it my, my absolute best I'm gonna get Jared Goff his dev game, man. I'm gonna get the win too on top of it. All right, we gotta watch out for Robert Tanyan right here. I actually did a charity stream with him. We actually raised money for a uh, food pantry. Uh, we talked with him on stream. Oh God, he was right back to the corner route, but Jesse Bates, man, I told y'all. Some of y'all doubted that trade. He's got the deep knockout ability. He jars the ball loose. Fourth and five, man, let's get off the field here. All right, I'm gonna go to nickel normal here. I wanna run some cover four quarters mats. I'm gonna put cloud flats out there as well as opposed to quarter flats. I'm a little scared that they're not gonna protect enough. Like we could realistically give up a drag here for a first down, but I'm hoping Hutchinson and James Houston get enough pressure. It goes with the quick seam pass, risky. But again, that's that slinger one release. He gets that ball out so quick, unlike any other quarterback that he's able to throw that. Oh no, come on Bates, come on Bates. Great tackle, kid. I'm actually gonna make a change here. I'm gonna move Deshaun Elliott to user and move Uru Warrior up top. And Deshaun Elliott has deflator, more ball carrier fatigue on non-conservative tackles. This should be able to force some fumbles. So I think this is actually the right decision here. Corner out again, I'm all over it this time. Yep, great defense, baby. All right, little five wide action. Number 50 at right tackle. Looks like he doesn't belong there. That man looks absolutely tiny. Hutchinson, not the one who says that. It's Julian Aquora. Great defense, man. All right, so I'm pretty sure he's in the Lions playbook. Gun side here. A lot of people love to run this play action play. Deep corner out to the right. And then the seam over the middle. He drops in Jesse Bates. <laughs> A man of fortune and opportunity. Wow, we got lucky right there. Maybe things have changed. All right, now he does have a nasty defensive line which means we're probably gonna have to throw some quick passes here. We have the in route, bit of a floater, drop by Tyler. We gotta make that catch, man. We gotta help my guy Jared out here. Come on. All right, he's gonna run a lot of man coverage. I mean, he has the secondary to do it as well. What a catch from Amon Ra. I think we have Amon Ra up top. I'm going for it. I'm going for it. Well, quick seam here. Josh Reynolds, what a catch. Takes a shot too. I just don't have enough time. I don't, I don't have enough time right now. This is tough. Going crossing pattern here. On the cut, Amon Ra again, man. Come on, baby. Let's go.
Oh my god. Man, I'm in nickel over. Four down linemen, another two linebackers in the box. Slot corner to that side. How are we getting ran on like this, gentlemen? Akuda, Akuda, Akuda feet of bounds. No, man. I mean, I'm telling you, man. Jesse Bates. Jesse mm, mother Bates. All right, I'm playing coverage here. I blitzed on third and long. Fourth and long. Cover three cloud here. Oh, he's at the corner out. Not open. He's going up top. Christian Watson. Jeff Akuda's right there. Overthrown. Way to box him out. We get another stop. This guy's not bad, man. This guy is definitely a decent little player, but I feel like we're playing tremendously on defense right now. Amon Ra, corner routes. Amon Ra is the only person getting open right now. Flat route open. Brock Wright hasn't gotten a lot of playing time, but he's up inside the 10. Brock Wright again. Nice catch. All right, we're going to do a fake halfback pass here. Oh, no. No, we're not. We're actually going to do it. Oh, my God. Keep going. It was wide open. We could have walked to the end zone. I'm going to look to a trail route here for my tight end. No blitz. Got us. I think we have the slant, though. Reynolds. Feet in bounds, man. Come on. James Houston, baby. Come on, man. We're playing D right now. We're doing a great job of mixing up the blitz, mixing up the match, mixing up the zone, man. It's beautiful right now. It's absolutely beautiful. I'm going to set the dogs here in second and 21. Oh, yeah. Heat him up, man. Heat him up, Robinson. Come on. Oh, shoot. Oh, thank God. All right, I'm going to call a timeout here. Now, I'm going to be honest with you guys here. I I'm taking a shot. I'm chucking this up to J-Mo. I'm chucking it up. I'm giving him a chance. He's got to step it right. Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? Right through his hands? J-Mo. Texas routes. <laughs> I don't know why Jamal Williams is out there catching passes. I guess it's because he's by default in here in a two down. Or a, I don't know what I'm saying. This uh, A slot offset has been great for me so far. I think we're going to have Omni on the corner out. And okay, Jared. Nice toss, buddy. Oh, what a play call. What a play. Jamo! Oh my god! How did that ball get there? What a dot. Three touchdowns before half. I mean, how? Um... All right, I'm going to give J-Mo another chance. I'm going up top. I I'm chucking a streak here, and we'll see if he can run right by him. I think we got him. I think we got him. That's Stokes 295 speed. You can't run cover zero, man. You can't do it against J-Mo. Come on, baby. Ow. Oh my God, get off me. Come on, Swift. Let's go, baby. Big hearts, go get them. Oh yeah, oh yeah, come on, James. All right, fourth down for the game here. Stomp out the comeback, finish a very successful game. I mean, this guy was not bad. Like he knew what he was doing. I feel like we just played great defense. We kind of took away everything he wanted. All right, I maybe got ahead of myself. Oh, I thought the cloud would play a good dot. Great dot. I tried to take a shot. That's not good. It stops the clock. He might blitz here. Hopefully he doesn't do blitz. We have the running back wide open. Wow, what a wind up from Jared. I need that slinger one quarterback, man. Gonna have to punt here. Wow, the comeback might be on. We do have a superstar punter who hasn't seen the field a lot this, so far this season. He has quite a boot. I should have kicked out of bounds. We've given up a return here. 
Oh my god, that should have been a big hit. What did that bomb again? I mean... Wow. Bates, 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 Bates. Oh, what a possession catch. That's what you have to do to avoid those knockouts, man. Whether it's man, whether it's zone knockouts on defense. If you possession catch or ag it and cut it off at its highest point, stay away from the DB with those abilities. Oh my. Oh my god. Why did everybody just get pancaked? He loves his corner routes to the left-hand side. I'm going to hop on Elliot here. I'm going to just run straight out there. If he wants to dot me over the middle of the field, so be it. But I'm on the corner route and wow. Almost an interception, almost a touchdown. Could have easily gone either way. I'm gonna go same defense, cover three cloud, four man rush. I'm watching this, ah, do I watch? I'm gonna leave the corner out on the left with this backed off slot corner of purple. Hopefully he plays it. Come back inside here. We're gonna cover two, I'm manning up. B goes to the seam and oh my goodness, what a drop. Fourth and four for the game. Here we go, gentlemen. Here we go. I'm going to mix it up on him. I haven't really ran man coverage this game. I'm running it from like a zone look as well. I think we can catch him off guard. I'm going to put Jesse Bates in a purple on that side as well. Oh my God. He actually got open. I put his zone over there. He got open, but the pressure forces the overthrow. Let's go, man. Come on. That should seal it. That should seal it. GG's, man, to the new the new Packers user. He's not bad. He's not bad. We're going to play him again this season and obviously for seasons to come. That was a respectable performance from him, no doubt about it. I'm happy with the result, though. I mean, we played well. We almost let him back in it at the end, but we should get Jared Goff his dev game. I think we, we did have three touchdowns, so it should be good. I think. I hope. All right, here it is, boys. The moment of truth. Another big performance in Jared Goff. You have to be excited about the direction he seems to be headed. Absolutely, he's proving every week now. I still don't know what to do with him. Like, he did go up to star. We could trade him now. He is going to be worth more. We could trade him, maybe pick up some picks, maybe go after like CJ Stroud or Bryce Young in the draft, or maybe we could get, you know, a quarterback already in the league. I don't know. Or do we just hang on to Jared Goff? Like, is he proven that he is our starting quarterback? I'm gonna be honest, I'm still on the fence. I feel like his release under pressure against the Blitz is not the best, but. He looks good now. He's, he's still only 27. I don't know. This, this is a tough decision. I won't lie.